Now, from your hyper-local weather source, this is your Norcast Weather Update. Brought to you by The Kitchen Shop at EHT. Your choice for full-service kitchen remodeling, offering all wood, semi-custom cabinets comparable to big box store prices. Our in-house installers will have your job completed in as little as two weeks. Visit us online at thekitchenshop.net. All right, guys, a very happy Saturday morning to you. Debbie is behind us. Now, look, I don't think the forecast was perfect, but I would give it a B. We got rain, we got wind. The only thing that didn't materialize, thank goodness, was the tornado threat, all right? That was to the north. We had a couple tornado warnings up in North Jersey, but luckily for South Jersey, that was not the case. Now, throughout the course of the late week where we were tapping into Debbie's moisture, up to yesterday uh, afternoon. These are your rainfall totals. Three and a half in Philadelphia, uh, six inches, almost seven inches in that northwest Burlington County uh, section. 2.3 in Pine Hill, 2.1 of Winslow. So you get the idea. Look, our overall forecast was for one to two inches south and east of Philadelphia. And I think for the most part that did work out. And the highest wind gust that we could see recorded was 58 miles an hour. Uh, around 2 p.m. yesterday. But that's all behind us, that's water under the bridge. We are looking forward to some nice weather coming our way for this weekend and then beyond to kick off your new work week ahead. Lots of sunshine out there. It's gonna be a good beach day. No matter where you go, Mother Nature is gonna cooperate in the right direction. Currently sitting at 73 in Hamilton and Mays Landing, 75 in Fortescue, as well as Atlantic City, Asbury Park, Tuckerton, that's a very popular number, it seems, this morning. Uh, dew points are still in the upper 60s or lower 70s, but those numbers will start to come down. And you see, we're going to end up in a very good position uh, for this weekend and into early next week. Dew points in the lower 60s. That's compared to where we were last week in the 70s, where it was just sticky and uber uncomfortable. So tons of sunshine return. It's extremely pleasant make sure that you get those outdoor plans in. Uh, there's no organized rain this week. However, we are watching the end of the week for some troubles. And we're also watching the tropics because I think Ernesto is going to be named at some point uh, early in the week. Right now it is an organized tropical wave with over a 60% uh, chance of development over the course of the next five to seven days. And then another tropical wave coming off the west coast of Africa. So, you know, we talked about how this season was gonna be active. And I firmly believe that to still be the case. In fact, NOAA just reissued their uh, updated tropical outlook. And they're not making any changes. So I'm with them this year. Here's the cold front from yesterday. It is moving off to the east. And the farther it goes, the better our weather gets here at home. Cape May looks wonderful right now at the Cove. we got some folks walking out there. Camden also looking pretty darn nice. Uh, 76 degrees picked up about a tenth of an inch of rain overnight. Winds are around five to 10 miles an hour. Regional radar has nothing going on. So you get the idea here. Our Futurecast satellite radar has a few clouds moving off to the east, but tons of sunshine on deck across the area. Your seven day forecast has us again with a good weekend today and tomorrow looking really nice. Uh, your work week through Thursday, decent. And then uh, as we get into Friday, Saturday time frame, we might throw in some rain to the forecast, but we're not going to focus on that at the moment. Positive vibes, all right? We worked for this. Have yourselves a great day.